Titan Miners are coming back for big balls only, right? <clears throat> so, so Ray, what's your thoughts on uh, on miners? Like, you're, are you making miners, Ray? Like, huh? Like, like aren't miners unprofitable at Titan X right now? Like, why in the world? Why in the world would you make a miner if the estimated ROI of a miner is minus 8%. Wouldn't you rather just buy the Titan X liquid and hold it and wait for the price appreciation to go up so you get more token, so you get more value from that instead of making unprofitable miners, right? So those are all the questions of people who don't fully understand the ecosystem, right? So here's evidence. This is exhibit A. Exhibit A, this is one of my earliest brand new miners that I made recently, right? So what you're seeing here is this miner with its, its, uh, with its estimated ROI being plus 61%. Wait, Ray, that's, is it that impossible? Like how is that miner profitable right now? Well, remember, every single day that you wait to make a miner, the difficulty increases. So every day it becomes a little bit harder to mine Titan X. You get a little bit less and pay a little bit more. This creates scarcity and it's more aggressive than a Bitcoin halving and happens every single day. So you could read about that in the white paper. Always know that today is better than tomorrow when it comes to mining, right? So that's one aspect of why this is profitable. Another aspect is also the T rank bonus. So keep in mind, every time somebody mines miners in front of you, you get or you receive a bonus in your T rank. They call it Titan X rank. So the more people that come in front of you, the more your bonus is going to be, you know, as you uh, your miner is um, maturing, right? So I, I thought to myself, I said, yo, wouldn't it be better <clears throat> for me you know, being seeing the trajectory of Titan X right now, um, you know, believing that potentially it could be hyper deflationary, understanding that uh, we're going to have good price action in the future. Wouldn't it make sense to bet on a long term 280 day minor, the max, right? Uh, wouldn't it make sense to bet on that? Because when this becomes profitable, right? Which is not too far away, right? On the on the UI I'm talking about. And, you know, when it's significantly more profitable, I would imagine that people are going to start aping into create miners here. And we're going to see a, a, a second minor wave for Titan X potentially. When that Titan, when that Titan X minor wave comes through, what's going to happen? A whole bunch of people are going to make miners. The T rank bonus that I am accumulating is going to be significantly higher, right? And the buy and burn V2, I would imagine that all the funds of the buy and burn, um, all this capital that's coming in is going to go in here, right? Which is going to burn, buy and burn um, Titan X directly, which is going to be just sweet for my ROI and it's going to help maintain it, right? So, you know, making it make sense, right? Because of T rank is better than me holding liquid, in my opinion. Betting on that, another minor wave, you know, is, is of course, that's where we want to throw our chips, right? <clears throat> So now, newer, this ROI is displaying wrong for some reason, right? So this is a new one. I made this on the 15th. This is not 
this is closer to like either break even or $90 market value, right? But, <clears throat> um, you know, still 280 day minor, getting the T rank, potentially um, being able to benefit from that in the future if we see, you know, a new minor frenzy, right? Um, the thing is, though, you know, potentially it's risky because we don't know how long the bull market is going to be. Um, we don't know. You know what I'm saying? People speculate that maybe we could we could go into a bear market around this time period. You know what I'm saying? Like this could be the end right here. Um, and what would happen? Right. I would still imagine that even if we go into a bear market, let's say, right, <clears throat> I still believe that the Titan X community is going to continue. You know what I'm saying? He, uh, Jake was able to cultivate a community that's bullish. And the guys that are in Titan X, a lot of them are experienced. Some of them, you know, a, a good a good amount. Us. You know what I'm saying? We know the we know the deal when it comes to these bear markets, but what we could potentially see in the bear market is build on Titan X protocols, and then there's gonna be one build on Titan X protocol or, or a couple of them that are gonna be stupid strong, right? As far as not immediate uh gains in the bear market, but like going into the next bull run. So if I'm getting tokens, Titan X tokens that are hard to come by during a time period where nobody was mining, I should be I. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a good bet, in my opinion. You know, betting on that, even if a bear market comes. A limited token supply. Everybody's going to be scavenging for trying to get Titan X tokens when I'm going to be having tokens coming out you know, as long as I'm going to be having tokens coming out. So to me, it's looking like a good bet, baby. Right? And here's somebody who kind of backs up my thesis, right? So shout out to um, Craig. He is a uh, OG from the Zen community and became a member of the... And also OG, just a crypto OG in general... Hex, all of that. And um, he has some good thoughts. Let's go into it. This is scary. Right? Because I'm looking at this. And a day ago, I made a max miner right here. That's, and then last night, nine hours ago, I made a max miner. So in between my two max miners, which are 24 <coughs> hours apart, there's only three miners. And then... I'm down here again. Is that me? No, I'm up here. The thing is that there's miners, but it's slowed down. You know, it's slowed down, and only because the miners are like negative 15%. Listen, man, these are <laughs> 280 <laughs> miners. And so, this is what is disturbing to me. Not making a 280 day minor because it says negative 15%. If someone was not intelligent enough to, to factor time and say to myself, wait a minute, negative 15, it's not gonna be that 280 days from now, especially since I'm aware of a hyper deflationary. You know, the, the H in hyper deflationary is a hundred percent let's give a hundred <laughs> so that's actually not negative 15 that's positive 85 just from the h alone all right, right? because that's what it all means right. it's like a well either way he sees the vision you guys could watch some of his content right shout out to him but he sees the vision of we are investing in a deflationary asset and it has um, several different buy and burns. And we believe that there's still bull run ahead of us. So 
you know, we could see a crazy price action for a Titan X. So, you know, his in his curiosity, he's like, yo, why aren't people mining yet? But it's because, you know, people are engaging in a lot of the other different Titan X ecosystem products, right? But eventually, people will start FOMOing into this later uh, once they can visually see it in profit. So, Ray, why would you want to go into Titan X mining instead of going into the other protocol mining, right? Or the newer protocols. Remember, <clears throat> everything else has a is a layer but that also comes with a layer of risk right titan x is the one that's paired with the eth directly so titan x is the low risk play we know it's going hyper deflationary and all these other protocols are here and created to support this they're all liquidity bonded to this so playing the low risk play is something that I like to add to my addition of higher risk plays. So if I have my basket, I have my low risk and I have my high risk. So I'm participating in, in all the things that I'm participating in, but adding to Titan X mining is the big balls play, man. All right? So we don't gotta get too deep on that. It's self-explanatory. Not financial advice, you do you. I do me, right? And we'll see what's up later on.